Ooh, wonder how much it is, no price.
Hey guys, I'll show you this real quick. I uh, just ran by Walmart real fast and did a quick pickup um, order, online order. So, I'll show you what I got here. I already, already opened this. Why is it? It's Louise, man. One sec. All right, got that cracked open. So, like I said, I did, had them order this. It popped up online recently. So, bada boom, bada boom. Got the Black Panther here. And this one came actually really nice. The box looks clean and fresh. A little crease there, but other than that, looks good. So, that's all I picked up. Uh, I'll throw this in with another extra video. Oh, I did pick these up for my son. Cargo and the little cars. He's in everything cars right now anything that has to do with the car truck it is so just real quick wanted to show you what I just ran in and grabbed at Walmart what's going on guys back from a hunt and got some uh, good uh, um, mail haul for you so first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, online order um, missed the first run of this but I jumped on online and I saw it on there and so I jumped at it and uh, reserved it and picked it up in store and that is the Walmart exclusive Black Panther finally got them been looking for them at the stores never saw them uh, just saw them online for that one day and uh, luckily I just threw them on hold picked them up and they actually came uh, in a perfect packaging uh, like seriously mint box so huge ups to uh, Walmart on that one for me and then what was it next so um, that's all I got from Walmart and then uh, I did go and uh, hit up a uh, GameStop um, I did put this on hold as well but when I went came into the store, it was actually just on the shelf, um, and that is the Goku Super Saiyan Goku Dragon Super, Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars, um, and I'm loving these boxes. Look at that; it's from basically from the cartoon, and then I got the other ones from the Wave, uh, the Build a Figure, um, and I did also pick up while I was there the Vegeta. So. If you saw my last video, I got the Beerus, so I got the whole Wave wave 1 right now, waiting for Wave 2 to come out. Um, and I've heard a couple people out there talking, not talking, but uh, just saying that they're a little bit uh, pricey for what they are, or they're not as good as the SH Figuarts, which is obviously true, they're not nearly as good as the SH Figuarts, but... Um, I'm not taking them out of package. These are for my in-package collection, so I really like how they look in the package. So I don't really care about that as much. Um, so for me, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, I also think they look pretty good for 20 bucks. I mean, they're no legend, if you want to compare the two. I mean, they're, they're about the same price. This one, the guy's a lot more detailed, obviously, than him. He's a cartoon character, so, you know, it's all the eye of the beholder, but uh, I think they're worth it. I really like it. I think they're cool. Um, can't wait to get the Wave 2 and get some more SH figure arts, uh, DBZ figures, uh, the Nappa and Vegeta coming out. I got those pre-orders, so as soon as those come in, I'll show you that. Um, and then I hit up, let's see, what did I go to next? Um, I went to a Target. Um, actually was shopping for my wife and just had to stop in there for a minute. And I wasn't planning on getting anything. And I ran across these guys, which I hadn't seen yet. So I picked up the Austin Aries NXT Takeover Box Edition. And they actually had the whole line. Um, but the only one that I really wanted was Austin Aries. I, just, I really like him. I've been watching him since uh, he actually was in uh, California what is it wrestling from Hollywood CWH or something wrestling from Hollywood though California wrestling from Hollywood he was in that and then he went over to um, TNA impact and so I've been watching them ever since then and really the reason I got these is because I love the packaging I'm going to keep this in box and just put it on display because I like the way they did that just with the X um, and the figure is pretty cool too, if you want to look at it. I mean, the the face sculpt is pretty pretty dead on, um, and he's got his old thing. So I don't know, pretty cool. And then we went to a Toys R Us. I did a couple of Toys R Us runs. I had some stuff I had to take care of. Um, so while I was there, I'll go into that next. But while I was there, I did pick up. Um, this guy, the Lightning Queen from Cars 1. So, out of this line here, I have all these except Fillmore, which I have not seen. I don't think he's out yet. So, uh, I do have the the Lightning from Cars 3. It looks a little different, um, so that's why I picked this one up. I mean, my son loves this movie, and he's obsessed with it. So, and I like it too, and I love this design. So. You have to get the original My Name Queen. Pretty cool. And then I did pick up one of these NECA stands. Um, and it is for either Hawkman or my Supergirl. Right now I have my Supergirl up with my Mafex. Um, my Mafex Joker came with a stand. I'm using that stand for Supergirl and it looks really good. So I want to see what it looks like with the Hawkman, even though I figure it looks like turds. <laughs> I still want to see what it looks like in the air, because right now on standing, it looks horrible. So that's all I picked up at uh, um, Toys R Us in that sense. But I was there because, if you've seen my lot of the videos, I picked up those movie Ninja Turtles quarter scale uh, NECA figures and basically what happened was my Raphael fell and broke and the feet wouldn't hold it basically they were just super loose would not stand nothing I could do to get them stand so I took them back um, my Donatello also fell for the same reason and cracked so I'm gonna take him back as well they didn't have any problem doing it which was nice but because of that I had to get replacement ones so now I know to make sure I tie them down which is probably what I'm going to do or put them on the bottom shelf so if they do fall they don't break I mean that's just what I'm going to have to do with these guys since they happen to both the figures that I got so picked him up and he ain't going to fit on this oh he might if I push everything forward I'm trying 
did everything in one shot so you guys can see it all. But I don't think I'm going to make it this time. I don't too much shit. So, like I said, same thing happened with Donatello. So I had to boom, pick him up. And I got lucky that they had both these in store. Um, the Raphael to order online, both of them they had in store at my Toys R Us, luckily. And I did get 15% off, plus $5 off coupon. So I got one of them for 90 bucks, which was nice. Um, he's not gonna fit. I'm not gonna even try it. So, those two guys we got back and then while I was doing that, all of that jazz, this came in the mail from NECA. I want to guess what it is. You don't have to because we're going to open it up right now. So, I have to say, props to customer service at Toys R Us. They're super awesome, accommodating, taking that back. They did not give me a hassle. Um, NECA, too, was pretty cool. I contacted them first. They asked me to send them a picture or a video, so I was going to do that, but I wanted to try to get it... Uh, at the store so let's see if you can see in there it's another one of these guys I actually haven't seen this guy in person yet so oh there he is bam Leonardo that they all have different faces. He's got a little smile. R Raph's got the like thing. He just stone faced, which I like. He is the boss. He comes with a TCRI canister as well. God, this katanas look awesome. And that looks dope. It's basically the same. No, it's a little different actually. The straps are different. So, I don't think he's going to get in the picture, but I'll put him up there and see if you can see him barely. Uh, you can kind of see it. Alright, that's not it. So, today we're running around, um, had to do some family stuff. Uh, there was a Toys R Us that I've never been to way far away, so I decided let's stop. And luckily I did, actually I'm looking for that freaking X-Men 2-pack and cannot find it, the TR ex exclusive. But they did have some cool stuff. I finally was able to find my page. Been looking for her for a while on the basic. Um, if any of you are wrestling fans, you may know why I wanted her. Picked her up. Uh, she's just an infamous character now in wrestling, if you know what I mean. Um, I. You know, she's not, no one's ever going to forget her now from what she did. So, pretty cool find on that. And then, these two I was not looking for or expecting to find. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I had not ever seen any of these in any of my Toys R Us's, even when they first came out. Uh, the first one is the... Batman Begins, NECA Batman, which everyone says the eyes are a little bit wonky, and they are. They're a little bit crazy looking, but uh, I had not seen it anywhere, and I couldn't pass it up. I just started getting into my, back into my uh, Christian Bale Batman stuff, so I had to get him, and while I was, this I was really wanted, but never thought I would see in store. They had the Michael Keaton NECA Batman, which is freaking awesome. 
and I got the original in box which looks just like this it's a little bigger obviously so I don't know if I'm taking this out or if I'm just gonna keep it in box with my other one um, we'll see but uh, if I do take it out, I'll show you but that's pretty much it I mean not pretty much that's that's it that's a pretty good haul I'd have to say guys three Ninja Turtles I got my DBZ legends wrestlers NECA cars pretty much a well-rounded haul I'd have to say um, one thing that I did see out there that I just want to comment on I saw the uh, Transformers uh, uh, oh shoot what's the, the world they live on oh my god why can't I think of its name right now oh holy crap it's in the video it's $150 for the figure and I was gonna say that's ridiculous Negatron and Optimus Prime come from holy Jesus I have to look it up real quick I'm sorry I can't remember that guys Retarded, seriously, what is wrong with me right now? Cybertron, holy jeez, why can't I, why couldn't I remember that? Transformers being one of my favorite shows, yeah. The, the Cybertron, um, looks really cool, but $150 and it's not that big, I don't think, but, uh, looks really cool. But, um... If it comes down in price, uh, maybe I will pick that up someday. We'll see. Long game. So, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.